Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com Inkscape tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an owl cartoon character. We've done this in the past on our website, but it was just written instructions, so I figured that this would be a good time to go ahead and uh, convert that into a video tutorial for you. So the first thing that you want to get started doing is you want to go to View and turn on your grid. And now we can make our owl shape. So we're going to make something that looks kind of like an old telephone. Let's see. Something similar to this. It's probably hard to see right now, but uh, something like that. And we'll try to even that up just a little bit here. That looks good. Now, <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a rectangle. This rectangle has to start down here at the bottom left, and we go up, and then over, down, and back again. And that has to be done starting at the bottom left and going around in a clockwise motion, otherwise this uh, perspective stuff will not work that I'm about to do. But first, uh, I'm going to go back to the owl shape. I'm going to click on Edit Pass by Nodes. <clears throat> I'm going to select those two and smooth those guys out. Then I'm going to go and grab this top bar here, pull that down. I'm going to move this guy up just a little bit, and this guy up just a little bit. And it's not quite what I wanted, so I'm going to make that just like that. That's what I want. Okay. So now what we can do is we can select our owl shape right now, and I'm going to select this rectangle. Go into Extensions, Modify Path, and do a perspective on it. And there's our uh, owl shape with some perspective on it. It doesn't look like much right now, but uh, it'll get there. So now what we want to do is we want to fill this guy in with some color. I'm going to make him a red color. And uh, before we go any further, I'm going to zoom in uh, in a area of the drawing that I haven't done anything yet. Uh, a little bit further until I get some real fine grid lines here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make an arrowhead type shape. I'm just clicking on the major lines there. And now I'm going to grab the Edit Pass by Nodes tool and I'm going to select these two nodes right in the middle there. And I'm going to round them out. And I'm going to start uh, dragging those two down just a little bit so that it's a little more pronounced. This is kind of going to kind of be like a feather. And you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute here. So I'm going to fill this in here with this uh, lighter red color. The body is this color right here. And the feather is going to be this lighter red here. Um, I am using the Ubuntu uh, color set. Um, now I want to get rid of the stroke on this guy, so I'm going to press shift and click on this X right here. We're done with that for now, and now we can zoom back out. And uh, I'm going to click on this guy, and I'm going to go up to Object, Pattern, Objects to Patterns. So that's a pattern now. Uh, if we can get rid of this now, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go and click on our owl shape, and I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Control D. And then I'm going to go into this fill area here. I'm going to change that fill to a pattern. And the pattern, by default, is our um, feather that we just made. And that looks pretty good. So now what we can do is we can uh, make the eyes. I'm going to do that real quick by just grabbing that ellipse tool, making something kind of like this maybe a little bit wider not too wide okay and I'm going to duplicate that again control D bring that over so now we got two eyes right here however they're still in this uh, circle format this ellipse format so I need to go and convert that to a path and that's done and now I'm going to go and change that to a union so now this is just one shape um, <clears throat> I'm going to change this to just a slight gray, grayish white color here. I'm going to 
duplicate that and I'm going to change that to a blue color because I think a blue color will go nice with the red. I'm going to press control shift and then I'm going to click on this diagonal arrow bring it down a little bit and I'm going to get rid of these uh, grids and I'm going to duplicate this uh, blue guy here actually um, before I go any further I'm going to add stroke to each of these guys so uh, just hold the shift and click on the black there shift black okay now I'm did I already duplicate that no control Z to go back I'm going to duplicate it control D make that black and then again I'm going to press and hold control shift and then click on that diagonal arrow go down these are going to be our eyes so I'm going to select the whites of the eyes the eyeball and I'm going to select the rectangle and again I'm going to go to modify path and uh, perspective there we go so as you can see these are really huge but I'm just going to need to scale these guys down just a little bit put them right there and uh, grab our blue uh, the iris of the eye and the rectangle again do another perspective on it and that's really huge again so um, obviously that's going to have to be made much smaller well <laughs> even smaller than that. That's probably a good spot for it. And last one is the pupil and we'll do another perspective on that. And that's probably going to get really huge again too. I'm going to scale, scale that way down. Bring that right into here. Okay, um, for now I believe we are done with this rectangle so I'm going to get rid of that guy. And uh, I'm going to make this a little bit larger so we can see what we're doing here. There we go. I'm going to kind of align these just a little bit. That looks good. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this ellipse tool. And I'm going to make a shape kind of like this. I'm going to put them right over here. I'm going to make that a pink color so that it looks like the inside of an ear, you know, membranes or whatever, kind of like skin being exposed. Uh, it'll look better in a minute. I'm going to add some stroke to that. It needs to be a little bit thicker. Um, the stroke here is about, well, we're going to make that uniform later, but uh, this is really bothering me because I need to see this. So I'm going to just set that to two and let's make this line up here with the top let me zoom in so you can see that better see we want to kind of hide that top edge there and now we need to take this guy and scoot him up just a little bit that's pretty good and just to make sure I don't need to do anything there I'll run an object to path on that now I'm going to go to this fill area and I'm going to make the fill color a radial gradient. Let's edit that and uh, I want the alpha value up for both ends of the uh, spectrum there and uh, we'll take the uh, first stop point and uh, we're going to make that darker because that's the inner portion of the uh, radial gradient and that's good but now we need to move it in this way and maybe uh, drag it out just a little bit. I'm holding the control button as I pull on this lever here so it doesn't move. Well, at least not as much anyways. So there, we got that end of it. We're going to want to um, go on this end. And we're going to want <clears> to <throat> Well, first thing what I'm going to do, I didn't think this through before I actually ran this tutorial. I'm going to get rid of this guy here, the uh, um, the arrowhead, the feathers, the pattern. And I'm going to go grab the edit pass by nodes. Um, 
I'm going to run an object to path on that because I don't know why I can't grab this right now. It's really kind of strange. Grab this guy, round him out, and uh, put this guy back. And for those of you who don't know, or that don't know what I just did there, I just took this line with my edit pass by nose tool, and I just double clicked. You can double click anywhere on that uh, anywhere on that line, and it'll. Uh, make an extra node. So there's our, uh, we rounded out that side of the ear so it looks like, you know, looks kind of similar to this. Now I'm going to go ahead, duplicate this by the red part of the body by pressing Control D, and now we can go ahead and use our pattern. And we'll want to make that go below just about everything except for the body. So I'm going to press the end button to move it behind everything, and I'm going to page up once to get in front of the red body. So now, the last real thing that we have left to do is uh, we need to add a beak. So I'm going to add a beak here. I'm just going to grab the Bezier tool and just kind of make a shape that looks kind of like a beak. And I'm going to turn that yellow here. And what we can do is we can go ahead and round that out in certain places to make it look a little little better. That's good. Last thing that I want to do here, well, one of the last things I want to do is I'm going to go and press, well, I, I uh, clicked on the pattern shape here, and I'm going to press alt and click again so I can get to the shape behind it which is the red body and I'm actually gonna do a linear gradient on that and I'm gonna edit that and again I'm gonna bring up the alpha value on both ends of the spectrum there and on the one end I'm gonna make it a little bit darker and that darker area I'm going to move that so you got to grab your edit pass by nodes tool and just bring that down here and then click on the other end and bring it up as far as you think it needs to go. I think there's good. So it looks a little bit neater. We can uh, we can say that that's pretty much done. I'm going to go and make all of the uh, strokes a little bit thicker here. So I'm going to grab this guy, I'm going to go to stroke style, and I'm going to say I want to give that a stroke of 5. And I'm going to give this guy a stroke of 5. Make the outer part of the eyes 5. And the beak will be 5. That might be a little bit too much. Let's go back to, uh, let's say, 2. Maybe 2 is what we want. Because you don't want it too thick, so it just looks ridiculous. And you can just kind of tweak these as you see fit. There we go. I think that'll do. So uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay, there's our owl. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.